Right, so more info on using spiders. This time, rather than audio spiders, oops, uh, it's going to be CV spiders. And I think these are great little things. Uh, brilliant for adding some really uh, bizarre shapes to your sounds. Uh, similar process uh, or concept, I guess, to the audio spider uh, is that you can now merge and split the CV information. And CV information uh, are things like LFOs, for example. So we're not dealing with sounds now, we're dealing with signals. So first of all, let's create a LFO that we like, just a shape. Um, so let's get something nice and wobbly. Let's do a square wave. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Again, let's make it a bit more interesting sound. But we're not worried about the sound so much, we're worried about the shape. And again, I'm going to create a spider. CV merger. I've got my shift held down so it doesn't wire anything up. Round to the back. Okay. So again, I'm going to look at splitters because I think splitters are the most useful, first of all. And what I want to do is I'm going to uh, send the output of the LFO to a, a splitter and then that will split off that signal to control various other things. So my LFO is going to come out and that gets split off. Then let's create some new instruments. So we'll create a Maelstrom and we'll also create a Dr. Rex as well. Alright, so I'm just going to Again, a bit more of an interesting loop. We'll go for something uh, a bit funkier this time. Where should we go for? Okay. So, my CV signal now, I'm just going to hide the wires by pressing L. My CV signal can now come out of here to split off and control something else. So, let's say that LFO is going to control the pitch of the Maelstrom and we also want it to control the filter cutoff on the Dr. Rex. So if I play this back, let's turn the filter down so we can hear it in effect. You can hear it's creating that um, square shape LFA that we made in the subtractor. And if we play a Maelstrom, you can hear, again, that that LFO is affecting the Maelstrom. And if I change these, these will conversely change So you can see the control that you've got over this now. And it's very, very handy. Um, and the idea being, if you've got, say, three or four synths, you don't want to spend forever setting up the LFO so they're exactly the same and you want some uh, them sort of congealed and gelled nicely together, then use the splitter and uh, send it out. I'm pretty sure that's an inverted uh, uh, LFO, so that will do the... Um, the flip of the shape. I need to double check on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. It inverts uh, the signal. Let's have a look also at um, the merging. Now it's important, I haven't really mentioned these pots here. These are the CV pots. And what these control is how much uh, uh, CV signal is, set, uh, is used, I guess. So for example, if we listen to the pitch on the Maelstrom, if we turn it up, it should be more extreme. If we turn it down, there's none happening at all. So if we did the same to the Dr. Rex while this was previewing, so none at all. 
maximum that you can do. Okay, so let's go back to our spider. So we're going to merge some signals now. So what I want to do is I want, um, I'm going to get rid of that cable and I'm going to put it into there. So I want that LFO. I also want the LFO shape from the Dr. Rex and uh, I also want the modulation A shape from uh, the Maelstrom. So have a look at those cables again. And what I'm going to do now is create a new subtractor and I'm going to initialize the patch so it's a completely blank sound. And let's see what happens when we now send this merged CV signal to the pitch. Pretty extreme. So it sent three merged CV signals and it's now controlling the pitch shape uh, for the subtractor. And we can control how much or how little we want from each one. So you can hear that's the one coming from the first subtractor. That I think is coming from, where's that coming from? Okay, so that's coming from the LFO on the Rex, so let's change that a bit. Let's sync it up so it's in time. Okay, and then we can hear the third input by turning this down. So that's really twisting it up, which is this modulation here. Lots of modulation shapes in the in the Maelstrom as well. So merge all three together. And you get something pretty crazy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is CV merging. <laughs>